Hello folks, so here is a little preview of what we're going to set up in this video. We're going to set up some rotating balloons that you can shoot with your bow that explode on impact that will rotate in random directions and at differing speeds. This way you can kind of have a little base uh, target for you know, fixing your, bo your bow's aim. So yeah, let's jump into it. Hello everybody and welcome back. So now that we can actually fire our arrow, let's set up some target practice balloons so that we can, you know, help refine our aim a little bit further. Make it a little bit easier to test things. Uh, so what I want to create this time is some balloons, big black balloons that explode when we shoot them. So in order to do this, I'm going to go into my blueprints folder and I'm going to create a new folder called props. Now I'm going to double click and open that up and I'm going to create a material real quick. This is going to be the material of the balloon so I'm just going to call it balloon underscore mat. Open that up and it's just going to be a shiny black reflective thing. So I'm just going to hold three on the keyboard and left click for my base color. Hold one on the keyboard to get my roughness and then there's that shiny black. But let's let's do one thing more. I'm gonna click hold one one more time, and I want it to be metal-ish. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Okay, I do. But I want it to be at like a quarter quarter metallic. I don't want it to be fully. I want it to be shiny. So I'm gonna apply that and save it real quick. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, cool. All right, with that done, I'm gonna right click and create a blueprint class of an actor, and this is good. Stupid autosave. This is gonna be target balloon underscore BP. So I'm gonna double click and open that up. And I'm going to add a sphere to be my balloon. Now I'm gonna apply that balloon material Compile that. I'm going to drop it in real quick just to see how big it is. Now you can make it as big as you want to. I'm going to double its size. So 2, 2, 2. That might be too big. But it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. Alright. And then with it selected, I am going to apply a tag. So with the self component selected, tag. I'm going to give it a tag of enemy. So that way my arrow uh, will know what to hit. Or when it hits, rather, I guess. So now in the event graph, I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to right click and do an any. If I could spell event any damage. So what I want to do when I apply any damage to this thing, I want to spawn an emitter at location. Now the location is not going to be the location of the actual blueprint actor but of that the location of the sphere mesh. So I'm going to get transform get the world transform split it open get my location and my rotation. I'm going to leave the scale here because I'm going to play around with the scale of that sphere uh, but I want the, actually, you know, as big as the, as big as the thing is, probably as big as the emitter should be. Now the explosion I'm going to use is in the effects variety pack. There's a really good one. I think it's, that's not it. That's nice, but that's not it. Oh, I guess it's in the other pack. Okay, so it's in a pack I paid for is the one I'm thinking about. But this explosion will be really nice too, so I'm going to just apply that explosion right there. And then after we spawn that emitter, I want to destroy the actor. So this will still spawn. It'll be its own separate entity, but it'll destroy this blueprint. Now we need to adjust our arrow. So inside our arrow class, 
going to go to my box collision and I'm going to scroll all the way down to its events. The second one is on begin overlap, but if you need to, you can stretch it out like that. So I'm going to do on a begin overlap. I want to check to see if the other actor, which is comparing to the one it's currently overlapping, has a tag. And the tag I'm looking for is the pff, Mimi, apparently. Enemy <laughs> tag that I just applied. So I'm going to hook a branch with a B left click and apply that. And if it's true, then I want to apply damage. Now the damage I want to apply, I'm going to set it to, you can set it to whatever you like. I'm going with 5, and then I'm going to promote it to a variable. The reason I set it before I promote it to a variable is so that our variable is automatically set to that. So this is going to be my arrow, da oh I already have that, uh, damage. This is my second time recording it, the first time it got messed up. So. But now if you see it's already set to 5. So now let me grab my bow, run on over, and now when I, yeah it explodes really good. But let's take it just a little bit further. I don't want it to just be stationary like that because that, that's boring. Oops. Let's make it kind of rotate too. So I'm going to grab my sphere. I'm back inside the target balloon blueprint. I'm going to offset it to the side a little bit. And I'm going to add a rotating movement component. Now on its construct, uh, actually on its event graph, let's add a begin play node. Now you can either set this up to do it randomly or well, I'll show you both ways. So on begin play I'm going to add a branch. I'm going to undo this tick and I'm going to promote this condition to a variable called clockwise question mark because I want it to rotate kind of randomly. It can rotate in a certain direction or the opposite way. So I'm going to drag out my rotating movement and set its rotation rate on true. I'm going to set it to be on the Z, what was it, 180, Ooh, 180. And then on the fault, the fuck, excuse my language, I hit the wrong buttons. On false, I'm going to copy and paste it and do a negative 180 so that it rotates in the opposite direction. I don't know which way is actually going to be, you know, clockwise, but it, this will help me just uh, set it up. So I'm going to tick this little eye so that when I drag it out, I can click it and then watch. So, well, it goes fast. All right, but if I tick that little eye, now you'll see it goes the other way. But that's too quick and it's too far away. Let's move it back a little bit. I'm going to say negative 130. And then I'm going to set its rotation rate down a little bit. So I'm going to set it to like 45 and then negative 45. Just a nice little rotation. Grab my bow. That's looking good. So then what you can do is you can just grab a bunch of them. One way you could do this to make it to where they just randomly decide whether or not they're going to rotate clockwise is let's go, um, let's get rid of this. So if you want to make it to where you select it, leave it like this. If you don't, Let's get a random into random integer in range. I'm going to set it from 0 to 100. And then if that number is greater than or equal to 35 or so, then it'll go there. And if it's not, then it'll go there. Let's do it 50, just so it's like a 50-50 chance almost. And then you'll see some of them rotate one way, some of them rotate the other. 
I'm gonna do it with that 35 though. Another thing you can do, if you want it to be just a little bit more random, so we can make a rotator and we can drag off here and get a random float in range. So this is the positive one, so I want it to be between 30 and 60. And then we can do the same thing on here. We'll make a rotator. Uh, random float in range. And this will be negative 30 to negative 60. Compile that. And then they they rotate in different directions at different speeds. So now you got something you can scatter them around your level, equip your bow, and then So yeah, there you go. That'll help you kind of establish your aim a little bit more. You can set them as far away as you want. I'm going to set one way up there and see how accurate my bow is at right now. Oh, it's way up there. All right, let's see. Oh, I got it. All right, we will be updating the animation a little later on to where she'll actually like lean back to aim up. But for now, this is working pretty good. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next one where we will go over a little bit more bow stuff to get it all fixed up and functioning a little better. So see you then. Bye bye.